Hey guys, welcome back to Homes on Wheels. If you're new here, my name is Brandon and today we are filming this awesome home right here. This is called the Anna Fay. It's made by Buccaneer Homes. On the interior, it has a different layout than most all of the other homes that I've ever seen and that's one of the reasons that I really can't wait to show it to y'all. If you look, it does have a dark black vinyl seat siding over top of a taupe color and it does have a black tin roof, which is worth noting. The front door is not just a cheap looking door. This is one that has a window that goes from top to bottom almost, which lets in a ton of natural light. Let's go ahead and step inside though and show y'all around. There again, this is one of the homes that are just now getting put in place. And man, it is nice guys. This is unlike any of the other homes that we have filmed. And the price point is phenomenal. We're gonna tell you all the price at the end of it. So one of the major complaints we always hear about these mobile homes when we're filming is there's no entryway. This house has a dedicated entryway that you can see with this awesome shiplap wall that's on the left over here. I like the fact that it's black because it sticks out and it's such a different take on things than most of the homes. You can also see this barn wood look, this beam that goes up and over the top. I'm gonna get a little bit closer where y'all can see it. This is real wood and I love the way that it looks aged. It's a different styling than the rough sawn look that we've seen in other homes. This entryway though would be great. You could put a bench over there. There is a plug set up over there where if you needed to put a lamp or a table or something, it would be an easy access. And it is just its own separate little entryway. And to the right of the entryway when you walk in would be where your dining area would be. So you can see they've got a light fixture hanging right there. There's multiple can lights all through the kitchen that's over there. And it's just a massive spot for a dining room table. You do have a bar to the side. There's two windows that open over here that would be right behind the dining room table. This home does have finished sheetrock too. The bar area has a window that does not open right here. That would be a good picturesque window, especially if you were on a lake side or something like that to be able to look out over the water. You could put a coffee bar here, maybe a margarita machine, whatever you wanted to. There again, they still have the rubber bands on the drawers, so I can't open them up all the way, but they are well-built cabinets with that marble style countertop. This has kind of a wood back behind it on the wall right here, which is different. Over here, you have a brick look behind the stove, and that is really nice, guys. It's not a cheap looking like paneling either. I I'm not sure what type of material that is, but it looks like real brick. The hood range over the top is black where it matches the accent walls in the home. And some of the trim in this home is even black. This home does have Frigidaire stainless steel appliances. And there, here's a large drawer. This one doesn't have rubber band on it. Let's open it up where y'all can take a look in there. Nice big drawer right there, guys. Lots of cabinet space in this home though, and that's a big deal. You've got multiple switches right here. I imagine one of them's gonna be for your fan. One of them's gonna be for that overhead can lighting that you can see in the ceiling. Worth mentioning, the heating and air conditioning in this home is in the ceiling. Now you can see that we've looked at the stove in this area over here. Well, if you look to the other side, the cabinets just continue. You have a nice size bar right here with that wood that matches the beams when you first walked in. It looks like you can almost move that island around, which is nice, yes you can. That is an island that could be moved back and forth. I really like that a lot. The light fixtures are nice in this home as well. And you have subway tile over here behind the sink. So you can see you got a nice Frigidaire dishwasher. The subway tile continues around it. You do have open shelving above your sink. This is a single basin sink. And you can see right down the certificate of product quality right in the bottom of the sink right there. Lots of outlets all the way through around the kitchen so all of your gadgets can be plugged in without a problem. This island though is just kind of talking to me. Let's open up these drawers. That's nice guys. I really, really like the layout of this home though. This kitchen is just massive. So if you're a chef or somebody that likes to cook a lot or entertain, this is the perfect home for you. Look at all the cabinets around the refrigerator. I don't know what you would even put in there. Now to the door that's to the left of the refrigerator is going to be the laundry room slash pantry. Now check this out. I guess this would be technically considered a butler's pantry maybe. A lot of room all the way around in here. I mean, this is more cabinets in the pantry 
than we have in our whole house. <laughs> you do have floating shelves in here as well that are industrial styled, which is pretty cool to me. I like that industrial style look. That wood look that was behind the bar in the dining room area continues in here. Let's see what kind of shelves are in here. Oh yeah, I'm a tall guy. I have a hard time reaching that top shelf up there. You'd almost need a step ladder in here. Now, once you step out of the pantry right here and turn to the left, you can look on into where the laundry room is going to be. But look right here. Look at this privacy. This is something that you don't see on a lot of these homes. I'm going to shut this door for y'all to take a look at it. Look at that door, guys. That is an awesome door. And the black trim around it really makes the wood pop. I just really like this house. I, I don't know why out of most of the ones that I filmed lately, I feel like they started to blend together and this one just really sticks out. So in the laundry room, you do have a sink. I know this is a huge deal for a lot of people and it is a deep sink. It looks like it's gonna be around 12 to 16 inches deep. You do have a separate faucet over there for rinsing stuff off. You do have cabinets above where your washer and dryer can go. You can see your hookups right there. To the right side, you have plugs over there and that would be perfect for a deep freeze. I like the fact that they even have this rod up here for you to hang your clothes on that you may be working on right above the washer and dryer. So here is your rear exterior door as well as your breaker panel. And this house, guys, just continues to wow. I can't wait till y'all see the master bedroom here in a second. If y'all are new to the channel, be sure that you're subscribed as we're making our way through the house so you don't want to miss our future tours. Today we are in Troy, Alabama. And... This is about three hours south of where we live. We are at Smith Manufactured Housing. So you be sure to check their information out in the comments below. Now check out this living room, guys. I know we've already spent five minutes just between the kitchen and the laundry room and the pantry, but it was all worth showcasing. I really, really like this living room though because of the tray pan ceilings. You can take a look up at those. There are can lights in here, a nice ceiling fan, and I love the fact that they have that black fireplace. There is an electric fireplace in this home. You can see it has five flame settings, LED control. Just makes it super easy where if you don't wanna to have to deal with firewood, you don't have to worry about it. Really nice size mantle above it. Obviously it's set up for your TV right up here. I'm gonna to try to give y'all a bit of a perspective of the size. Let me get right over here and give you a little bit of a pan shot. That is just a massive living room. It really gives you kind of a separation point between you and where the kitchen sink is and maybe all the loud noise from the clanking of the dishes and stuff, which is nice, but you still have that open feel too. Let's go ahead and take a look at the bedrooms and see what they look like. You can see right here, it does have the Ecobee thermostat. That will be controlled from your smartphone if you want it to be. Always handy if you're a little bit hot or a little bit cold. Nowadays, you don't even have to get up off the couch. Just go to the app on your smartphone and take care of it from the couch. Here is the first guest bedroom. There again, they're still staging, so there's carpet and pad and stuff like that laid in here as well as doors. This is a good size bedroom too, guys. Got two big windows over there to the left. And instead of having those six panel doors, I like the way that these doors are shaped. They look more of a craftsman style. Take a look at the closet. It does have a wire shelf in here. However, that would be something that could be easily replaced. Each room does have a smoke detector in it, as you see. And I like the fact that it has like that one by four siding for our molding because it just makes it look more farmy. If you look down at the floor, I didn't mention this before, but through the whole home is this linoleum style flooring that looks like hardwood. This is a durable type of flooring that will last for many years to come. Here's a single piece shower unit right here with a large bathtub in it. The single piece is such a, such a huge deal too because it keeps and helps you prevent from leaks in the future. A lot of times on the old bubble homes years ago, they would have two piece and then you would have to worry about right there around the edges, water getting through and then you rot your floor out and that's never a good thing. You can see your toilet and your vanity there as well. Here's your heat and air exchange. You can tell by the vent that's in the side of it. 
which I'll take a look in there. And you can see they've screwed sheetrock to the back of the door right here to allow for some dampening of the sounds coming from that area. Here's your hot water heater, and that is a nice big ream hot water heater. So at the end right here is going to be the master, but before it on the right is your second guest bedroom or office or whatever you may use it for. And this house has decent sized bedrooms to have all of that nice big living area out there. Go ahead and pan around for y'all to take a look. And this bedroom does have a walk-in closet. And it's a decent sized closet, guys. Really, really like this home so far. Let's take a look at the master. The bathroom is a wow factor in here. And then once we get out of the master and the, the uh, master bathroom, we'll go talk about the price. This is a very large room. You have plenty of room for a king size bed, wherever you want to put it. I would probably put it over here on this wall if it were me. You have two big windows right here. You can see your ceiling fan and can lights continue in here as well. That seems to be a really big feature on homes nowadays is the can lighting. And here is the master closet. And this is a nice size closet, guys. Big, big closet. I don't think you would ever need any more room than that. Now let's go take a look at the master bathroom. And this is impressive, guys. You can see right away that, that bathtub is a focal point, but we're gonna wait till we get there. The shiplap color does continue in here, but they went back white. And I think because of the bathroom being not as wide open, that that's a good thing that they did because if it was black, it would make it seem a little bit smaller. It is a nice big double vanity area though, so plenty of room for his and hers. The can lights continue in here. Look, one, two, three, four, five can lights just right there. And you do have two large windows on the back side of this bathtub. A lot of people are like, I don't like the windows by the bathtub. Well, that's what curtains or blinds are for. I personally don't have neighbors on the back side of our house, so I would love to see that against a wooded area where I could look out while I was enjoying the bath. I'd have to kick my wife out first though, because I know she would be in there with a bottle of wine. You do have open shelving on this side, and here is your potty closet, AKA where your toilet is. And this is a nice one. It kind of goes around the turn right here to get to it. And let's talk about the shower. You do have a large shower in here that is tiled with that barn wood look. You do have a nice big shower head up there. You can see when I step in here, your controls are gonna be over here to the right. And overall, just a very nice home. Let's go take a look now at the price. And I really, really think y'all are gonna be shocked at the price when we get there. Now y'all keep in mind too, you can see these beams that are up here that we were walking around. That will all be done away with when the home is fully set up. So those awkward beams will be out of the way. Now, as for the price on this home, this is one of the better priced homes that we've filmed that have all of these awesome features. You can look right here and see 160,000 plus tax at 1,856 square feet. That's really hard to beat guys. If y'all will though, click right up here on this box and follow us into our next home tour.